Hello everyone, welcome to my blog. My name is Kathy and today I'm going to be showing you how to decorate um, one of Close to My Heart Brackets frames. This came out in our fall autumn, sorry, fall winter Close to My Heart 2012 idea book. So um, this is the frame. It's actually made out of chipboard and um, you can decorate not only the top of it but also create like a layout that you can put in the back and then it just sets and you glue it into each of the corners the the layout in the back so I'm gonna give you some ideas or tips that I discovered when I was making my frames um, before I actually show you um, the frames that uh, that when once it's completed so <clears throat> what I did was I the art art Cricut um, art philosophy close to my heart Cricut cartridge has this actual frame, this bracket frame um, design in it. So what I did is I went into um, the craft room on Cricut.com and I actually cut out this actual um, shape using the art philosophy Cricut cartridge and I cut it at 10.95 I think by 10.95 and so what I ended up with was a solid um, like a solid uh, frame like that oh, sorry it's just the camera's not focusing so you end up with a solid uh, frame like that and then what I actually did was I turned it over and I drew out the square and then used my exacto knife to actually cut it out um, so basically you can put in whatever pattern paper that you want to use to um, to cut this shape from and then you can um, use that to decorate the outside. So and I'm going to give you some tips on how to actually apply the the frame. So here is one of the um, papers that I come out, cut out. So I first cut it on in the craft room and I got the big shape and then I used um, an X-Acto knife to cut out the square from the middle. So one tip that the first tip I'm going to give you is when you are um, deciding on which way to put this on your frame, it sometimes helps to to rotate your paper around and see which way it actually fits the best. So that what you're going to try and do is line up your peaks on either side and maybe on the bottom, and then just see where the paper is going to actually cover everything, including the tips, and then cover the inside. So and sometimes you'll find that there is a side that kind of works better um, probably because um, when you cut it on the Cricut it's not like exact or perfect so um, that is the first tip that I'm going to give you the next thing that I'm going to suggest that you do is when you go to put on your paper what I actually find is to do it backwards so what I did is I put adhesive all over the bracket frame so I'm not going to do this because this is actually for somebody else so um, I can't actually show it on camera but I just put the adhesive around the outside of the shape and then around the the the, um, the square the outer square and then you decide like what you have to decide which which uh, paper you want to have on the outside so if you wanted this on the outside of the frame I actually turned it over and before, when you decide which which way the the bracket frame works the best, I actually put like a B for bottom on the frame, and then I'd write it on the piece of paper so that you know which way you want to put it. So, is the easiest way to actually put this the paper onto the frame straight? I find is if you put it down on your workspace and you actually take the frame over top, and you probably want to stand up to do this. But what I did is I actually hovered over. Not so it was touching, because adhesive is going to be on your bracket frame, but I'd hover over until I was satisfied that it was sort of lined up with all the peaks in the inside square, and then you just set it down. And what I found is <clears throat> when you did that, it would be almost perfectly on. And if it wasn't, um, it's okay. Like what you just need to do is maybe just um, use some ink to sponge around the outside if any of the white... Um, parts of the frame are showing through but for the most part um, when I taught a class on this 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 actually worked quite well for almost everyone who was doing it with me so again you want to um, mark with a B or any kind of mark like a star or anything on your frame with your the inside of your bracket 
the paper that you're going to use so you know which way to line it up once you go to do this. You put the adhesive around the outside square and then I actually did it around this as well. So you could use Tombow, you could use liquid glass if you use it really fine. You don't want to use any kind of glue that's kind of thicker because then you're actually going to see it. Um, it's going to be bumpy. So um, Tombow works really well or um, if you have the um, the ATC gun or whatever, that's actually what I used as well because I, I find that you can get, first of all, you can go around corners with it, but you also get a really thin layer. So that would be my recommendation for when you're creating the frame. The, frame. the other thing I would suggest is when you are <clears throat> creating your layout to go inside the frame, you're only going to be able to adhere it on these four corners. So what you're going to be doing is putting your paper like up against these four corners and that's really the only place to adhere it. So I would recommend you use something really strong there to hold your layout down and back away from the frame. But you do have the option to actually also put your layout right up against the top of the frame and then your paper, your layout is going to be right there at the top of the frame versus kind of recessed back. Preference, I, I prefer the, the, the um, layout to be recessed back so then I, what I did is I just used a really strong glue in each of these corners to kind of hold my layout back into the corners. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually show you um, a few of the actual frames that I have completed. Um, so if you're interested in seeing those, just keep watching. I just remembered one more tip that I wanted to let you know that I did. When I made the layout um, that I wanted to put into the frame that was recessed back, what I also did is on the back of the um, cardstock or piece of paper that I used for the the base of the the layout I also put a piece of chipboard so usually you have this stuff lying around it's usually on the back of like paper pads or you get it sometimes when you um, get your close to my you know close to my heart products you might have some of this chipboard sort of separating the paper or something so what I do is I save these um, and I use them all the time but I, what I found about these is it just creates a bit more stability because um, when you have the layout inside it it's it you know depending on your paper it might not be quite strong enough so I, f I just put a piece of chipboard on the back of the layout just to create a bit more strength and sturdiness um, in your layout so that when you set it into your frame um, it kind of you know um, at just provided some more um, stability so that was just one extra tip that I just thought of that I forgot to mention earlier Okay, so here are just a few samples of the bracket frames that I have made. In this one, I used the Avonlea um, paper pack, and um, I also used the coordinating kind of embellishments that come with it, and made some of the rosettes and roses with the um, Cricut Artiste um, collection that you can only get through Close to My Heart Consultants. And then I used some of the, I cut some of the butterflies from the Art Philosophy um, Cricut cartridge and um, in this case I wanted to use like solid cardstock on the outside here so um, I, when I put it on I had room to stamp the words around so that's what I did here and I, I recessed the picture back but I just I used pop dots to kind of pop up the picture as well so and this is our satin polka dot ribbon that coordinates with the Avonlea paper pack so that's one of the frames that I made Another frame that I made, actually the next three frames that I've made, I've made sort of similar um, kind of style. So what I did for these frames is I um, used our, our swirls, like our pearls, but in this case, this swirl is actually was here um, on the backing sheet, but what I did is I just cut it off and then moved it and then put it down up here. And then down here there was actually another swirl that was attached and it kind of went in a circle but I cut that one off because it would have gone into my frame and I actually used that on the card that I made um, to coordinate with this. So this is one of the frames and I used, um, I sort of did a banner, kind of hanging banner so when it stands up it actually hangs nicely um, and I'm giving this away as a Christmas present this year. This is another frame that I used, um, the La Belle V. Um, paper pack and I just love this picture of my husband and my daughter. He took her to a um, 
called the I Was a Butterfly Gala, which was a fundraiser for kids' cancer care. And um, so um, they all got all dolled up and went. So I wanted to capture this um, picture and, and frame it. So um, again, this is pretty much the same layout as the last one that I just showed you. So that was using the LaBelle V. And the last frame I'm going to show you is um, one that I made for a friend of mine who just adopted a brand new baby. And so I wanted to send her one of these frames with her daughter's name on it and then she can just add the picture herself. So um, again the roses are cut. I think these roses are actually cut with the Art Philosophy Cricut. And um, <clears throat> yeah, the paper pack that I used is called Daydreams. So, yeah, I really like how this one came together. I think this is a great, these are great gifts to give for baby gifts. I'm going to make actually a few more of them for some other um, kind of baby showers that I have coming up and stuff. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you so much for watching. Please check out my blog and um, for additional artwork and also... And then also subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can see the other um, videos that I have made. Um, I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to do a video since my last video. I'm hoping to actually do them more often. I've just been, with Christmas coming up, I've been quite busy. So, But in the new year, that's my goal is to actually make some more videos. So thanks for watching and until next time, bye-bye.